A Saskatoon woman who tracked down that homework assignment says Minister Eyre misrepresented it. She thinks Minister Eyre should not be the education minister. Liz James is a mother of four and a blogger. She joins me now from our Saskatoon studio. Hi, Liz. Hi. Your blog post has received high marks from people who, like you, are troubled by what they've heard from the education minister. Let's go back to that, hearing about that initial assignment and when you first heard the minister's comments about what she said her tr son was learning in this treaty education assignment, the words colonialists and pillagers of the land, what was your reaction? Well, at first I felt really troubled by it. Um, I felt troubled especially by the fact that she was bringing in her son's assignment obviously into the legislature. It took me a minute to pick up on that. Um, but once she started talking about things like pillage and colonialism, I wanted to talk to my own kids and find out what it was that they were learning at school and what it was they were hearing. And when I talked to them, I got a really different story. Um, and then I realized I don't want to be basing it just on my child either. And I started looking online, looking at the curriculum and realized that it doesn't say those things and to start to realize what it really does say. And then I really felt like that was something I wanted to see protected. So you published this blog post which goes into great detail about how you found out this information and your feelings. Tell us a little bit about what you were feeling when you saw the homework sheets that Air was quoting. Well, first I just did a simple little blog post about sort of those family discussions that we were having. Um, and then someone sent me a copy of the homework that, that Mr. Air was referring to. Of course, every kid copies down their own notes from the classroom, but none of those things were in there. So it was initially in French, I had friends help me translate it, uh, and words like pillage and colonialism weren't there. And so then I started to question why is it that Minister Eyre said that from the floor of the legislature? Was it just a misunderstanding, a mama bear moment, and some misconceptions, or was she actually willfully misrepresenting the content? And what do you think? I don't actually know, um, and I don't think it matters. I think what matters is that she made a speech that was so inflammatory, that caused so much damage, and she did it without making sure that the content of the speech was true first. I don't think why actually is relevant to the question of whether or not she possesses what she needs to be the Minister of Education. You read her statement that she issued today. What's your reaction to that? I think it's good that she apologized to her child. Uh, I think there were a number of really important things missing from that statement, um, most notably apologizing to the people of the province, especially Indigenous people, for the damage done by opening up that conversation in such a m misinformed way. Like the fact that she didn't make sure that those things were even in the curriculum before speaking, um, and that she spoke about such an inflammatory thing without making sure of those things is really crucial, and I didn't see that mentioned anywhere in the apology. Does that bring any concerns to you about where treaty education may be headed in our province? It does. She's spoken about um, bringing this conversation into the History 10, 20 and 30 curriculums which are up for review this year, uh, which was actually what motivated me to action. My kid is going to be taking those curriculums and I've really valued the treaty education he's gotten so far and I don't want to see that put in jeopardy. You obviously do value it. You created also a Facebook group called We Are All Treaty Parents. What kind of reaction have you seen in that group? on Facebook to all of this that has come out around the education minister? People are really upset um, and I found that to be really heartening. There's some really interesting conversations that are going on there um, and I've gotten to watch people really consolidate around how important and valuable this curriculum is which has been really rewarding to watch. It's been something that I've really enjoyed and it's helped me form my opinions and think things, think things through more carefully which is one of those really valuable things social media can do. Thanks for sharing some of your thoughts with us tonight, Liz. Thanks.